Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In this video, I want to clearly explain how to use the Bancor network to trade or swap tokens. Now, I've done plenty of these tutorials. If you haven't checked these out, I recommend watching the Myth the Wallet tutorial to get your head around that concept of interacting with the Ethereum blockchain, whether it's with your hardware wallet, your private key, or your backup phrase. There's plenty of ways to do it, and if you have your head around these concepts, it makes using these different websites and protocols a lot easier. Now, I love the Brave browser, but unfortunately, it doesn't like the Bancor Network website, so I'm gonna be using Google Chrome today. So I've just signed in and created an account. If you haven't done that already, guys, it's gonna ask you um, how you wanna access Bancor each time. Now, this isn't creating an, an account like on a centralized exchange with a username and password and then having to get verified or anything like that. This is just for security purposes. So it's gonna say, how do you want us to send you a sign-in code each time through message, um, Facebook Messenger or Telegram. Now, it's also gonna ask you to create a password. So if you lose your phone or whatever, um, you know they still can't get access to it if you've got a strong password. So once you're signed in here, it is going to ask you to either import an old wallet. Now you can do that again with your private key, your backup phrase or whatnot, or create a new wallet. And that's what most people are probably gonna be uh, familiar with and nice and easy. It's gonna ask you to write down those 12 backup phrases and, and so on. And this is now your wallet that is associated with the Bancor website. So it hasn't got any tokens or Ethereum, anything in there yet, guys. A few other features here. Um, you can buy Ethereum. That's um, integrated with Simplex. So a 5% fee, you know, an expensive way to buy ETH, but um, maybe for you know ease of use, that's there if you really need it. A couple of other tabs I'll just explain quickly. The first one here is bounties. So this is a way for you to earn a few tokens for free by doing tasks for projects, you know, helping promote them on social media, um, and so on, check that out if you're interested. The next one here is relays, and this is really getting to what's happening under the hood. So with exchanges, we're all pretty familiar with how order books work, you know, those buy and sell orders that we see. Now, Bancor uses its own protocol, its smart contracts and algorithms to develop what they've called uh, smart tokens or relay tokens. Now, you can think of this as a digital peg and it's the way that they create liquidity or the you know the orders, the ability for you to buy and sell tokens. And by pegging these, if you know one is getting bought or sold more than the other, you can think of it as scales getting out of limbo and the algorithms and their smart contracts should put those back into balance to always keep the you know this liquidity or depth to help fill your orders. So again, a bit technical, you don't really need to worry about how that works but that's what's happening under the hood. The only real caution is once we get to actually trading here. So you can click on what tokens you wanna to buy or sell and have a scroll through, or you can just search. And when you search, if we wanna buy some you know, engine coin, it's gonna also bring up that smart token, that relay token pair that Bancor uses. So you just wanna make sure you're buying or selling the right thing. If you accidentally do buy the wrong thing, you can just you know, sell, it, sell it back. So, um, you know, not gone forever. Okay, so the next step here is how we're gonna actually buy some tokens. So we have to either first deposit some Ethereum into our wallet, and again, we can just send some Ethereum from our hardware wallet or whatnot over to this address. Or the other step, um, it's probably easier if you've already logged in or if you have a Trezor or MetaMask account is um, getting that order ready. And again, you can either type in an Ethereum value or you know just the actual amount of tokens you wanna buy, that'll calculate that for us. And when you click on convert, it's gonna now ask you which wallet you wanna use. So this is the Bancor wallet that I've just created that's associated with the website. Or we can use my MetaMask, which is an Ethereum wallet that's embedded into the Google Chrome browser and other browsers you may have. Or if you've plugged in your Trezor, it's gonna have that as an option at this stage to do directly from your hardware wallet. Now, it doesn't have optionality for Ledger yet, which a lot of you guys use. There are ways to do it, and I don't wanna um, complicate beginners here, but you can you know, import your ledger using your seed phrase into MetaMask or into the wallet 
um, in your backups here, guys. So if you forgot password, import that recovery phrase there. Again, I hope... Hopefully, I haven't uh, overcomplicated things, but that is uh, possible to do. Now, once we click on convert and we say yes, let's just do it from there. If we had some Ethereum in there, it's just going to tell you the exchange rate. Double check that that's exactly what you wanted to buy. There is a little bit of slippage, just like with exchanges. These smaller tokens that aren't traded a lot, there can be a little bit of slippage in the price where you pay slightly different to what you actually see. So we can say, look, I don't mind if it has you know three percent slippage there. I'm okay with that um, in the advanced settings there. So if we click on next, that's going to execute that um, with their smart contracts and those token pairs that they've created to fill your order. Um, that's going to be a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain, um, and whatever wallet you've used, your tokens will now show up as a balance in there. So. Hopefully that's a good explanation guys again watch that again um, watch the my the wallet tutorial if you need to get your head around those other concepts but this is another great option Bancor continue to add more tokens and as I said exciting to hear them talk about EOS integration as well so hit that like button guys subscribe if you haven't already share these videos around and thanks for tuning in cheers